the card that they're holding is that Trump tried to overthrow the 2020 election. And Ronna McDaniel was a part of that. Ronna McDaniel was calling on folks, Republicans, to, to, to voice their concerns about whatever, the, 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 the counts of votes in certain states, whether or not the electors would be accepted, all of that. And you remember this prior to the events later in the day on January 6th, when they were voting to challenge certain states' electors, and Ronna McDaniel was calling for people to at least consider doing that. And by the way, they should have been doing that, in my, in my opinion. But now, since she's involved with that, now she's got the, the term, she's got the scarlet letter of election denier on her. And so letting her on this network would basically say something that we have been feverishly trying to use as content on this program, but also not just current content, content designed to scare people and content that's designed to impact the 2024 election. We can't have someone who was on that side of the argument as a paid member of this team. That is going to present massive, massive problems. And so they go into pouting mode. They go into just petulant little child mode to get what they want, to show their viewers just how virtuous they are by how strongly they stand against Ronna McDaniel, who, again, probably has as much in common with the liberal as she has in, I'm not saying a leftist, but a liberal. She probably has as much in common with the liberal as she does with the conservative. She's not in the conservative camp, but she's at least closer than these leftists are. But yet they don't even want her on that air.